In this video, we will check how to pass the variables from the .model file to the JS file in a Drupal line. In the last video, we have seen how to create the library and how to attach the library inside the custom form. And uh, for that, we have created this JS file, CSS file, and the one library file. You can you can watch that video by clicking on this suggestion, or I will add that video link into the description. To pass the data from the .model file to the JS file, for that we need to include our library inside the preprocess underscore page hook so that that library will get attached or available globally inside the website. So first we will create the preprocess underscore page hook function at the red parent dollar variables. Now we will write the hook for the preprocess underscore page. So function or model name is the employee underscore three process underscore page and percent dollar variables to attach the library for the syntax is dollar variables. Hash attach inside the square bracket library and empty square bracket equal to our library name is employee underscore js underscore css. So first we need to mention the model name or model name is employee and the library name in this way we have attached our library globally now i want to pass the variable to the js file that variable in that variable i want to pass the current login username so in this way we will get the current login username i will paste this code here now i will pass this data to the js so for that syntax is dollar variable hash attach in the square bracket Drupal setting model name and the variable name so our variable name will be current user and assign this user variable to this variable array now save this file and to get the this current user value inside the js file i will go to this employee.js file and inside the js file we will get that user name so for that first add the drupal dot behaviors dot employee equal to attach function inside function add the context and uh, settings now we will create the one javascript variable where current user name and we will assign this variable value to the current user underscore user name variable for that add the drupal settings dot a model name employee and the variable value current user now i will show this current username in the alert box for that i will write the alert current username save these changes and clear the cache Now the browser cache is clear, go to the page and refresh the page and see if we are able to get the current logged in username into the alert box. For that I will refresh this page. So here we are getting the current login username inside the alert which is we have passed from this model file to the js file and in the js file we have shown this in the alert box now suppose i want to show that name by default inside this first name field i will assign this value to the this input field 
for that I write dollar ID of that field first name field dot val and the current username variable. Save this. Clear the cache. Cache is clear. Now go again. Go to the page. Refresh the page so that we are, this admin name will be get assigned to the this first name field the page is refreshed now we can see here the admin value is assigned to the first name field that's it from this video i hope this video is useful for you please subscribe the channel and like the video thanks for watching